guys, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to be eating like Annie Long for a day. Annie Long is basically a fitness slash lifestyle YouTuber on YouTube. She is the same age as me and we both are freshmen in high school. And recently, I've been watching her a lot and really enjoying her content. So I figured I would eat what she eats in a day. So let's get into the grocery shopping. <laughs> So I'm at the grocery store getting groceries for this meal, so hey. Tomorrow I start Annie Long's diet, but tonight I need to prep breakfast for tomorrow, which is overnight oats, and I'm using her recipe, which I will leave down in the description. About two tablespoons of chia seeds. I'm personally using the Justin's Honey Peanut Butter. This is my favorite peanut butter and by far the best I've ever tried. So I highly recommend you purchase this next time you're at the grocery store. I noticed that with the oatmeal, she adds a lot of cinnamon and she also adds banana occasionally. And I can't do super plain oatmeal, so I'm for sure gonna add banana. I think that's enough cinnamon because I normally don't even put that much and I love cinnamon. This is breakfast. We have some overnight oats. Okay, so now I'm going to try the oatmeal and I think it's gonna be really good. You know what? This oatmeal is pretty good and I'd probably try it again. The flavor is really good, especially with the added peanut butter. It really enhances the flavor of the oatmeal. <laughs> Okay, so now it is snack time, and the snack that I'm going to be having is an apple. In one of her What I Eat in a Day videos, she had a honey crisp apple, and this is also my favorite type of apple as well. Also, I wanted to mention that I still feel very full from my breakfast. Honestly, I highly recommend it. This is what healthy living looks like, cutting yourself when you're cutting an apple. Mmm, delicious bloody apple. Love it. So now it's time to have lunch and coffee. I've decided to just make espresso because that's really all I have at home right now. This is one of the plainest coffees I've ever had, just being almond milk and espresso. It's really bitter, so I might add some stevia because it's zero calories. I'm not gonna be able to finish that if there's not any sweetness at all. I think adding one pack of stevia gave it enough sweetness to let me like get by with it because it tastes pretty good. this amazing dressing, Brianna's Homestyle Cilantro Lime Dressing, which I didn't remember which one she specified like for dressing, so I just picked this one up because it sounded like it'd go really well with this salad. This is what we got going for lunch. We have a salad with this cilantro lime dressing, avocado, bell pepper, cherry tomatoes, and spring mix. So I think this is actually gonna be a pretty fulfilling lunch because this has a lot of good fat, protein, all the like veggies and stuff, so it's gonna be delicious. I really like this lunch because it's very fulfilling and it tastes really good and everything in it is all natural and not super processed. I highly recommend it to anyone who wants a good salad recipe. Okay, so now it is time for snack number two. This snack is just yogurt with some frozen fruit. And I saw she liked frozen mango and also frozen berries, but I couldn't find the exact frozen berries that she had. So I just got frozen mango. So this is what I'm having. I'm having organic frozen mango with organic vanilla Greek yogurt. And this is just like a really good one. This is actually a pretty healthy snack, I would say, because it's basically just fruit and yogurt, which are two things that are great for your body. I'm gonna try it and I'll see if I like it. I haven't really ever tried frozen fruit and yogurt. Normally I just eat yogurt plain or with like honey or something, so 
and try this out. It's not bad. I thought the combination of frozen fruit with yogurt would be a little bit more weird. Flavor wise, it's great. It's just, I'm not used to the texture of eating frozen fruit with my yogurt. It's not the best, but it's not the worst, honestly. So it is now dinner time and we are making red cabbage bonza pasta. I saw Annie eating this in her What I Eat in a Day from I think four months ago. So that is what we will be having for dinner. And I think it sounds like a really good idea because the cabbage sounds like it might add some extra flavor to it. Even though I in general don't love cabbage, we'll see how it works out. And our liquid gold pasta sauce. Oops, I didn't realize the rosemary didn't have a lid stopper thing on it. Like, the oregano has a lid stopper, and I thought the rosemary had it too. Okay, let's try this. It looks pretty good. This is actually really good. The cabbage in the pasta really just absorbs the pasta flavor, so you can't really even taste it if you don't like cabbage. The bonza pasta tastes exactly like normal pasta with, like, sauce on it. It tastes so good. The red cabbage just adds texture to it, and it's like a good crunch to it, which I really enjoy. I'm adding this to my meal planner for the next few weeks at least. Next time I have this pasta, I would definitely go with a half a serving because that's one serving, which is basically half a box, and that's way too much. So I'd definitely go with a quarter of the box. Overall, this is a great meal, and it's pretty healthy as well because it's basically just tomatoes if you don't get a really unhealthy pasta sauce, some herbs, chickpeas, and some cabbage. Notice, I couldn't even finish a dinner because it was so filling. Now I'm going to have a spin drift because Annie says that she loves these and I like them too and I've been drinking them for a while now. But my favorite flavor is the pineapple spin drift and I've seen she drinks this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and drink it as well. It is one of the best alternatives to sodas and I even spoke about it in my last video so you guys should go check that out. Okay. So now we're at the end of the video and you guys are probably wondering my opinions on her diet. I really enjoyed this diet overall. All of her food was actually really good and I feel like her meals are very well planned out and healthy in general. I could probably eat this diet every single day, but like I think breakfast was my favorite. I feel really good about this diet because overall it was really healthy. I'd probably give this diet a good eight and a half out of 10 because it was good, it was good. It, it fueled my body for the whole entire day and I never felt hungry in between meals, which is a really good feeling because normally I get hungry like an hour after eating. So staying full throughout the day and I feel like that's something I need to concentrate more on while I'm eating. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a like and comment down below whose diet you would like me to check out next. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next Friday at 7am. Bye guys. Love you.